All right, so I want to talk a little bit more about um, 3D printing. I've been doing a lot of different experimentation and things like that, and um, you know, we're just looking for some just kind of some fun things to print and see what you know, just see what I could make. And um, one of the things that you know, I I use all the Google tools, and you know, I've done a lot with Google over the years, and so. You know, as I was as I was looking around, I found a few different Google things that um, kind of piqued my interest and really, you know, just got me printing some things. And so, so one of those things is the drive icons, and this is one. This is would be for forms, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's like a keychain. You know, when it was designed, had the uh, the hole for the key ring to be put in, and but I really do like it. I think it's cool and I, I made it in a pretty high quality um, print. And so, you know, I did that one. I did the one for spreadsheets. I did the one for docs. And I mean, they, they are pretty cool. I really, I actually really like them a lot. Here's the one for presentations. And then I also uh, have one for classroom. Now, I didn't design any of these. Um, these were things that I found online. And that's part of you know, part of the thing that's interesting, I think, about the whole idea of 3D printing is there's so many things online that you can find and and print that, you know, these are these are just one set of example. Another thing, and this I actually think is really cool, um, I found this on Thingiverse, and this is the uh, Chrome logo printed out. And so, as you can see, I have three different pieces that will make up the Chrome logo. And so obviously I had to print these separately. But what's great about this is they fit together really, really nicely and it's really pretty cool. But then the blue, the center part, is a screw and this is a nut. So you can kind of see the threads there and kind of see the threads on here. But that's what holds this all together. So if I put this down and and you know just screw this on. That's how that creates the Chrome logo. I think that's super cool um, just because it uses, you know, you're putting different pieces together with that. Additionally, I made one that is a full ball. So it's the, the Chrome logo with a ball. And I have a little stand for that. Just, just something to, you know, I, I think it's, again, I, I just think it's interesting. The last piece of little... Google Wear, Google stuff that I created is actually the drive icon. And again, this comes in three pieces. Um, I think this was designed by the same guy who designed the, the logos for the different types of documents. But really, what's cool about this is, I don't know if you can see very well, um, there's little bumps on that. And on the inside, down here, there's little indentations that will hold it together. And it's actually, it's really tight. And as I try to put this together, you know, it snaps in. So there's part of it. And I put all of it together. And it ends up making the Chrome logo. So, and I would, you know, like I'd, I'd do a better job if I were actually finishing it up and it actually fits together rather nicely. Um, but what a neat little, you know, experiment just to kind of play with different kinds of printing. Some of these I printed at higher quality than others. Um, and so again, you know, just kind of continuing on that, that path of thinking about how 3D printing could work in the classroom. Obviously you have the design, but what about the other stuff that you can find online and where does that all fit? So anyway, that's all. I just wanted to share some of the things that I've been working on recently and experimenting with uh, in terms of 3D printing.